Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Mish and today we're doing a let's play. Yes, god damn it. Uh, let's play um, Now this is called the Stanley parable. I've never played it in my fucking life I have no idea what I'm getting myself into I decided I did see the trailer it caught my attention but If you're one of those people oh, this shit's so fucking old. Well sue me god damn it I want to play it. It sound interesting my type of game and I think some of my viewers, in particular, like two, will really enjoy this. So, I hope I could play with the fucking remote. If not, I'm gonna have to use the fucking keyboard. So forgive me in advance if you're gonna be hearing clicking, because my fucking microphone is sensitive as fuck. But let's go. Let's begin. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Jesus. God. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Shit, what a fucking introduction. And from the looks of it, I won't be able to use my fucking remote, but that's fine. And I'm not gonna edit it out, goddammit. You guys need to know the truth. It's like, Mish, why the fuck are we, uh, there's my, me putting the micro, the fucking microphone, the, the shit down. Um, but hey, that caught my attention right away. Jesus Christ. All right. Be right back, 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 guys. Let me learn the mechanics of this shit. And we're back. Okay. So we do W for walk, of course. I wonder if there's going to be like a walking simulator, like the fucking, um, like those great fucking All games. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I will try to talk as least as possible. This is going to be one of those games where it's mostly, mostly a narrative, narrative, which I don't mind. For once, you guys will see me shut the fuck up for once, so I won't talk as... I'll try to talk as least as possible as we advance, but this is already... Oh shit, somebody dropped their coffee. I hate Mondays. Who doesn't fucking hate Mondays? I hate Mondays. But anyway... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Why? No, I want to go here. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes. I don't know, I always get paranoid about shit like that. When they tell me where to go, I always go the opposite for some reason. Damn it, Mitch, that's probably why you've gotten so much in trouble in your whole life. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. How do you pick up shit? Can you pick up, like, are you going to need weapons or...? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> oh, shut up, Mr. Fucking... But eager to get back to business, 
Stanley took the first open door on his left. Wait, what the fuck's in there? Hold on. Fuck no, I'll just go over here. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> okay, do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Okay, should I follow the directions? I don't know. Am I fucking up the gameplay? Does this have, like, multiple endings or some shit? I don't know. Wait. Do not jump. Wait, what the fuck? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's on motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. Penalty of jumping off. Wait, there's trucks there. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been <laughs> neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Okay, fine. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Fine. She's been waiting. Fine, fine. Oh shit, what the fuck? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. If you can truly put a fade in another, then pick up the phone. Okay, I don't know what that means. Wait, what the fuck oh, happened? Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, shit, what the fuck was that? <laughs> gotcha. Oh, oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. The fuck? No, I don't. That bitch scared the fuck out of me, dude. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Good morning, employee 427. Please... Why? Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Fuck you, you douchebag. How the fuck do I get out of here? No, I'm not pressing zero. Fuck you. Press zero. I'm gonna press something else. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to Shut do. Up. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. What? No, let me get the fuck out of here. How do I get out of here, dude? Leave me alone, goddammit. How the fuck do I get out of here? Fuck that douchebag. He sounded so friendly, now he's being a douche. Okay, um... Can I fucking break that shit or something? But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay, I kind of want to watch TV. And so he began what? to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought 
excited him terribly. Well, that is kind of true, so. Okay. I don't know where this is going, but... So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press R to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fuck? fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. What? Well, well um, yeah, my baby. Okay. This kind of, what the fuck is the point of this? Like, is there rules to this shit? Should I gone down the left door? It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Priest spell seven. Okay, let's do that. But there is no answer. How could Son there possibly bitch. be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Well, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? How the fuck am I back in my... Jesus. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Please press J. Okay, fuck you, I'm pressing J. You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every <laughs> second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? Oh, Jesus. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Hmm. How the fuck? Well, I'm trying to get the fuck out of here, but this asshole... I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. I and I tried it. again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Okay, what the fuck just happened? Okay. The end is never... Okay, what the fuck was that? Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting? Or a photo he could no longer recall. Okay, you fucking douchebag. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fine, let's play along. Let's see where this leads us. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, how to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Uh, let it ball you up inside, take out a... Using slides to assure employees everything's okay. Make sure you have a slick blue graphic of the header. What the fuck is this, dude? Like, <laughs> It made me a little bit uncomfortable for a minute. 
You know why I think it is? Is because, like, I'm, I literally never fucking played this in my life. I don't know if it's going to have, like, multiple endings. I don't think so, because it seems pretty linear. But this shit's giving the, you the illusion of control. But when you don't do what is asked, it pretty much either... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Bad shit happens when you don't listen to this narrative bastard. So let's just play along. So much for free will, right? <laughs> okay, come on, man. Executive, executive bathroom. Let's go in here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Okay. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Stanley just sat yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input yeah, the correct right. code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, what the fuck is going on, guys? Like, seriously. Like, legit. Yeah, it's, it's weird. This game is making me discover a lot of things about myself. Like, I don't like the... I have problems with authority. Because I was just playing. I'm like, I'm not going to listen to this shit. And Descending it deeper into made the building, me listen to it. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years, it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. I'll play Stanley along. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay. What the fuck are we in? Fucking ex Professor X layer or what the fuck is this? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Shit, I don't know. Do I want to find out? That is the question. <laughs> now, I, I did get this fucking game like for fucking two dollars, guys. So don't expect fucking Witcher graphics and shit. All right, so let's click on this shit, see what this does. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Jesus, we are fucking puppets, goddammit. It's true. Okay. I'm intrigued. I am fucking intrigued. This mind control facility, it was too I, horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Man, for this motherfucker to sound so happy, I thought it was going to be like a happy game. It was... There's some dark shit. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. 
or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. How the fuck do you do that? Man, this is some dark shit. Evil black magic. Right, let's turn this shit off. Ain't nobody controlling me. You guys know why? Because I'm a fucking thug. Thug life. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? What the fuck happened? Jesus? Satan? Mama? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Can't see shit, man. Yes. The fuck is he this? had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Well, I mean... I'm glad that I'm free, but... Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Aw, tear, tear. I beat the game, yes. Okay, I beat the game, that was it. What the fuck? Wait, Stanley thought to himself. Am I sure that the orders stopped coming in? How is that possible? They never stopped. Surely I was mistaken. Wait, what the fuck happened? What, what the fuck just happened? Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm confused. I'm lost. Previously, I'm lost. No, but for real, what the fuck? Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, fuck that. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Fuck you. Man, this is some creepy, evil, black magic. Alright, I don't know what's going on, dudes. I already died twice. Huh. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? 
all because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all, none of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So Fuck. he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, shit. Then the he fuck? imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? <laughs> now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let yeah. me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through <laughs> with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Man, this is some dark shit. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this game? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. 
and in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Well, that's some shit. So are these like... Is this like a fucking loop? Okay, hold on. What if I go to the computer? This is starting to... This is starting to creep me out, bruh. This is starting to creep me out. Alright, well, I know I'm not talking as much. It's, it's very narrative, but I'm, I'm intrigued. The question is, is this going to be like some puzzle shit, like... It's weird. It's starting to get to me a little bit. The voice ain't real. When Stanley came to a set of two Shut open up. doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Let's see what this takes. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Okay. Where the fuck is this taking me? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. No. No. I don't want to listen to the voice anymore. Let me be free. Let me be free. I'm going crazy, y'all. Fuck. See, I told you that this shit... Well, the voice ain't even real, but... It's giving you the option of free will. So as long as you do what it says, it's giving you the illusion of control. But at the end, you don't have control. Oh, no. No, Son it's to the bitch. right. My mistake. Fucking douchebag. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Are you sure, you bastard? God, I'm going to hell. Where had I been here before? No! No! No, 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 no! This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um... Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just no. restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, no. from the top. Son of a bitch. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What the fuck is this? That computer will... Can I open any other fucking door by any chance? I'm not listening to that shit anymore, like Al Pacino would say. Huh, what does it say right there? I like... 
big butts in a cane, not lie. All right. Wait, there's there's a way to go in there. No, I guess not. Okay. Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on, guys. Like, legit. Another when standing... Wait. What? Wait, what? No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely the restarted fuck? the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> it was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Ah, shit. Now what do I do? Let's go this way. This fucking narrator's fucking with me, bro. Wait, I'm fucking confused now. This is like a fucking puzzle game I don't even know anymore. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. No. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Son of a bitch. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, I'm turning on all, all, all the fucking computers off. This thing's fucking with me now. 425. Talk life. I hate Mondays. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Mm. Wait, did we miss anything? Man, the fucking, this fucker's, he's just fucking with me now. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. What? The story. Here it comes. What? No, wait, never oh mind. Oh Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh, Jesus. Am I a serial killer or something? What the fuck? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? But you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Yes! Congratulations! <laughs> I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck is this now? All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? He's fucking with me, isn't he? 
He's fucking with me. What the fuck does this one say? Username access. Alright. This fucker's playing blackjack. I used to love that game. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. He's Though, fucking with me. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, Jesus, that scared the fuck out of me. Cut the music, go back, and look at that fern. Wait, what? Look at what? Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Are you, are, is he for real? He's just fucking with me. Consolidation reports, departments. Uh, <laughs> man, this is too fucking late to be fucking with me, man. Corporate, financial, corporate imbalances, monthly ledgers, financial. What's so important about it? I think he's just fucking with me. Wait, there's a grill in here? Personnel files. I don't see shit in here. I'm just gonna leave, guys. Fuck this. Hold on. There's a paper sticking out there. I don't think that's important. I don't think... I don't trust that guy. Fuck you, narrator man. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Huh? All right, let's go this way. We're back in the fucking. Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh no, 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 no! Not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? Oh, and after God. we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Oh my God. Huh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm having fun, guys. I'm having fucking fun. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? 
Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? What direction? Oh my god. I swear to god, Mr. Re Narrator Man, you're pissing me off. But I'm now, having a great time. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Dog life. Dungeons and Dragons, god damn it. Oh no, oh, not you shit. again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Wait, what? Okay, I'm not paying attention to the fucking line. Leave me alone, you stupid line. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, I means that it. our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Bastard. Okay, the question is, should we go on that one? Huh. I want to go on this one. Fuck. Okay, let's go. The confusing ending. What the fuck does this oh, mean? Hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't. Do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. <laughs> and the time return stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey, though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination, so I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... The fuck was that? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Okay. What the fuck? Should I be turning those off? I really, I'm really fucking confused now. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stan Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments <laughs> oh with some God. calming New Age music. Okay, what the fuck is going on? I just want to get the fuck out of here. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Okay. Is this just like a loop? Did I finish the Stanley game? walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept Pirate. it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Okay. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Let's go on. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, 
Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, oh this is much better than what I had in mind. What a <laughs> shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments oh, until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. Damn it. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? No. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. Jesus. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Damn. Well, that didn't fucking work. Jesus. I'm back. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, Jesus. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Let's try a different route. I don't remember this shit. I don't remember the binders. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm-hmm. Sure. sure. The lounge was sublime. A work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I did not. 
Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, penalty for misuse of cargo lift. 5,000. Hmm. Okay, let's do something different this time around. What if... I just leave? Look, Stanley, I think... But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story <laughs> and no one gets to tell him what oh, to do, fuck. Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Am I dead? Can I even die in this fucking game? That is the question. Jesus. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm -hmm. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Mm -hmm. Give me a sure you was you bastard. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh. Hmm, should I believe this bastard? Fuck no. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Uh, let's go with one. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not <laughs> even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. The fuck is this? 
first Nicho, Nacho. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? The 21 players skipped the intro sequence. Only three chose the blue door. Only three. So I'm one of the three percent, really? Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I guess. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Jesus, this game is fucking crazy. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Jesus Christ. I can't do this for four hours. Sorry, baby. Oh, I feel like you shit. heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Man, this game is fucking crazy, I'll tell you that. Oh, are you fucking well, kidding Stanley, me? Is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be <laughs> enough? Well, I'll say Jesus this, I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? This will go here. No, here. And then... God, I hated this fucking game. I never liked it. And I'm Let's fucking see, playing what it in does another it need? game. I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. It's complete. I made this, Stanley. <laughs> Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Oh, uh, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Oh, God. Wait. I don't fucking fit. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where the fuck do I go? Why am I fucking playing Minecraft? Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? The fuck is all this? What the f what? Dude. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. 
<laughs> Why am I playing fucking Minecraft, dude? Please don't tell me. Please don't make me relive this. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. What is this? What the fuck? What is this? Like fucking half uh, portal or something? Man, this game's some oh, fucking crazy shit, man. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Huh. Your forte. It is portal. Genius. Son of a bitch. There we go. But this? Are they no, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. <laughs> I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. The fuck was that? What does it say? Filling cabinets? Where the fuck am I? Oh god. What is going on seriously guys? I have no fucking clue what's going on. This game's fucking crazy. Why is there so many lamps here? 427. There we go. It's 424. 425 There's my fucking desk Jesus Okay What is that showing there? Am I supposed to do something here? Where's the narrator? Where are you, you narrator cocksucker? What happened? What now? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Wait, was that it? No. Okay. Just making sure, young bloods. Just making sure. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, you know what we should try? We should definitely now try. What the fuck is this awaiting input? What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, we're gonna try the fucking red room. This shit's literally making me follow rules, which I hate so much, but we're gonna do it. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to Come the on. meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, no. Stanley no. felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay, let's now, go. Now listen carefully, let's go this with is the important. Red. Stanley Jesus. walked through the red door. God. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh god, now what? Where the fuck am I? What is this place? Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Please, where, where, did, where am I on? I swear to god, I feel like I'm playing Twin Peaks the game. Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> well, it is kind of nice, I would say that. Can I just jump in the air? I guess we can't stay. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's some nice little colors. Little colors. What are these fucking aliens or what's going on? Reveal yourself. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys made it this far. I've been playing a little bit over an hour and a half. I will edit the fuck down of this bitch, but this game's crazy. I don't know how to describe it. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Oh, Jesus. Please don't die. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Are you serious? Dog life. No! Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Fine. There, see? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Man, I feel this is fucking Twin Peaks. jump out jump I 
I can't jump. I, I was thinking of jumping off the cliff. All right, let's just get out of here again. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. No, 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 what do you, do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? I want to fucking kill myself already. Because I want to get out of here. Dog life. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Dog life. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Man, this game's fucking weird as fuck, man. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. Well, um, <laughs> I think that was pretty much it. I mean, hmm. Was that the ending? It looked like an ending. I don't know. I, I'm going to leave it up there, guys. I, I've been playing for this for way too fucking long. It's starting to fuck with me. Um, I will look to see. Because from what I from I was like looking at it, there was multiple endings to this shit. Like each fucking death is an ending. So I think I got them all. I, I was looking for more. I've been looking for half an hour. But I think we pretty much they're pretty much repeating themselves. So I'm going to drop it off here. If there is like a fucking legit actual ending, which I doubt. Then I will do that in a separate video, but I think we pretty much got them all. That last one was supposed to be the last one? I don't know. Um, yeah. Hold on. Well, anyway, guys, I think that's enough for today. I was trying to do it all in one stream, but I've never played this, so I'm pretty sure that wasn't the ending. It made it seem like it was, but I doubt it. So I will finish this. Um, it'll be a part two. I will finish this. I don't know how many endings there are, but I will definitely do a part two to this. I had a fucking blast. It was fun. It was fun. It was interesting. I liked the whole um, narrative shit on it. Fuck with my head a bit. But uh, I'll try to do this as a part two. For now, enjoy this. I hope you guys like it. I really liked it. Fucking, I've been on this like for two hours. I'm starting to lose my fucking, how do you say, my fucking speech. But I'll be fine. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. This was the Stanley Parable. Um, there's going to be a part two to this, so look out for that. I might do it tomorrow. But I did have a blast, so um, thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you on the next one, young bloods. Whew. Jesus.